Hello African Confessions, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and the message reads like this. Hello my brother, can you please post my own story? I just wanted to say that I sold my own wife's womb to my uncle because I was in need of money after my child was seriously ill. But this uncle of mine, we are not that related, but my own father but my own mother used to work for his own father as a maid. So we used to call him uncle. When I saw that my child was seriously ill, I went around looking for help and I never got any help. That is when I thought of this man who had helped us when our own mother was still alive. Since we were staying in the village, I had to sell two of my gods so that I can get money for the bus ticket. After selling those gods, that is when I bought the bus ticket and I traveled to the city so that I can go and speak with my uncle. When I arrived at his place, his gate man would not allow me to go inside the compound because he told me that his boss had traveled on a business trip. I didn't have anywhere to go. I was hungry and I didn't know anyone in that city. So I just sat by his gate until he arrived. When he arrived, he immediately recognized me and he told me that I should get into the compound with him. Yes, it really sounds so funny, but I had no option. By that time, I was facing hard times. The things that he asked me to do, even though he took advantage of my poverty, but I had no choice. I was in a difficult situation. I had only one son. Unfortunately, he had fallen sick. This was about five years ago, and my son, he was hospitalized for about 10 months because he had a kidney problem. So I then thought of going to that man. He was the only man that I knew that if I go to his place, he was going to assist me because he is the one who had even assisted us with the burial of our own mother after our mother had passed away. My mom stayed for a very long time in the hospital. And when she died, the hospital then refused to release her body because we could not pay up the bills. And when the hospital refused to release her body, they were charging us each and every day for the time that my mom's dead body was being kept in the mortuary. My father was just hopeless. He didn't have any way to get the money. He went to that man whom our own mother used to work for his father and he explained his situation and that man he traveled with my own father then they came and he paid all the bills that were needed at that hospital he even threatened to get that hospital manager arrested because of the way that he had treated us that uncle of ours is the one who bought the coffin for my mother and everything that was needed for the preparation of my mother's burial. So I knew that if I were to go and speak with him, he was going to assist me because he was the only one in this world who could assist me. I had tried to look unto God, but the heavens had failed me. There were many nights when I would just sit outside and stare into the heavens and ask God, what did he want me to do? Did he want me to sacrifice myself? But there was no answer that was coming from the heavens. So I traveled to the city. After he had came back and found me sitting by his gate, and when he had invited me to come with him into his compound, then I told him everything that I was facing, and he knew that we were just poor people. And when I told him all of my problems, I asked him for money, which was wanted at the hospital so that we can settle the bills. It was really expensive because here and there, my child had to be taken for his dialysis, and this was costing me a lot of money. And if he wasn't going to be taken to this dialysis machine in time, he was going to die. When I was telling him that I wanted the money so that I can pay up all of the hospital bills, he said that, yes, he can help me. He is the one who has been helping my family all along and he was willing to help me again. But he said, not this time. 
this time i can't help you guys for free you have to give me something in return look ever since you were growing up was not my father the one who used to help you out guys and i said yes was it not me who helped you with the burial of your own mother then i said uncle yes it is you who used to help us and i am back again Please, this time around, I need your help. Is it not better that I die, but my son lives? Then he said, you are not going to die. Your son is not going to die, but I need something from you in return. On that night, Brother Nashi, he never told me what he wanted in return, told his worker that they should take me into another room, but it was outside of his mansion. I was staying outside just close to the house where his gate man was staying, and he told me that I had to think about it. When I was in that room, I never understood what was I supposed to think about, because on that night, he had not told me what exactly he wanted from me in return. After a couple of days, that is when he called me. But on that day, he called me straight to his bedroom and he said, you can sit over there. And I sat on this beautiful couch. It was really comfortable to sit in and he was sitting on his bed. Then he pulled out a large sum of money and he placed it on the floor. And he said, I will give you all of this money. This is more than you need. If you use this money wisely this money will change the fortunes of your generations forever and you would have chased away poverty from your entire family but for me to give you this money please give me something in return then i said uncle what is it at that time i was almost kneeling down i said whatever that you want me to do i'll do for you uncle what is it that you want from me then he said i want your wife's womb I didn't understand what he meant when he said that I want your wife's womb. But at that time, I just calculated when I looked at the money that he had placed on the floor. And I said, is it not better that I just give this man whatever he is asking for? Already at the hospital, one doctor had told us that the way that my wife had given birth, we were going to have troubles giving birth again. That is why when my son fell ill, I was really stressed out because the doctors had told us that it was going to be difficult for my wife to fall pregnant again because of the way she had gave birth. In that moment, as I was looking at the huge sums of money that my uncle had placed on the floor, I just said, I am going to give this man whatever he wanted. I was afraid to ask my uncle why he wanted my wife's womb. When I said, yes, I will give you whatever you want, uncle. Then he said, no, not tonight. I want you to go back to your room, eat and enjoy. But after two days, I'll be back because I am going on this business trip. And you will tell me if you want this money or not. That is when he handed me the money and he said that for two days, I want you to think about it. So I went back into that room and there was too much security at his house. There was no way I was going to escape. He went out for his business meeting. Then the very following day, my wife who was at the hospital with our son, she called us and she was crying a lot. And when she was crying, she was telling me that do whatever you can, please, to save our own child. But she didn't understand what exactly I was doing. I just told her that I am going to look for money. She told us that the doctors had tried to cancel her. And the way that the doctors were speaking with her, it seemed as if they were preparing my wife because they knew that our son was about to die. At that very moment, that is when I went and I spoke with his gate man and I begged him to call his boss my so-called uncle. Then the gate man called his boss and I spoke with him on the phone and I said, please do whatever you can. Please let me out of this compound so that I can go to the hospital. I'll give you whatever you want. And he said, indeed, if you have agreed, I will tell the gate man to open the gate for you so that you can go 
and pay all the bills that you want to pay. But unfortunately, by the time that I arrived at the hospital, my son was already dead. There was nothing that I could do. And here I was with a lot of money. When we eventually counted the money, it was close to 68,000 US dollars. After we had buried our son, I started a small business and I didn't tell my wife exactly what had happened. I just lied to my wife that I was given a loan by my uncle that I should start a small business and I should return the money when I am okay. I was scared to tell my wife that I had made a deal with my uncle and the deal was about her womb. After me and my wife had started our small business, we continued with our life and, and we healed from the heartbreak that was caused by the death of our son. Life continued as normal and we were now living a very comfortable life. Me and my wife, we lived like this for about three years. Then two years ago, that is when my uncle contacted me and he told me that I had to immediately come to his house. So I drove to my uncle's house. When I went there, that is when he gave me a bottle of pure water and he told me that I was supposed to go with this bottle of pure water and I should give this bottle of water to my wife so that she can drink. And he didn't tell me what was the purpose of this bottle of pure water that he was giving to me. I just asked him what will happen if my wife refuses to drink this water. And he said, just make sure that she doesn't refuse to drink this water because you do not want to know what will happen if she doesn't drink this water. So I made plans and when I returned back home, I lied to my own wife that when I was in the supermarket, I just thought about her. Then I bought this bottle of water for her. At that time, when I gave this bottle of water as a gift to my wife, she was really happy. She opened it up as she was cooking. Then she drank that bottle of water and she just finished it completely. Now there is a problem. My wife is suffering from a lot of STIs and discharges and whenever she has this discharge, it will be smelling a lot. We have tried to go to a lot of clinics, but we do not get any solution at all. I have been tested and they say that I have no STI. Even my wife, she has been tested and the doctors say that there is no STI. I know what I did to my wife but i am afraid to tell her the truth that i made a deal with my uncle and i don't know where this deal is going to take us please my brother just post my own story dear listeners right there was a message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins if you have any story that you want to share with us please feel free to do so in the comment section I'll be back with another episode.